And we're back, guys. Welcome to Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. Having to face another Camilla in less than a week might give Sinyakova nightmares. Camilla Rakimova from the Federation. She's ranked 95th on tour. And look, guys, she had a pretty decent year last year. She made her best ever finish on a main tour level event uh, in Rouen. She made the semifinals where Zanevska took her out. But she did win a couple ITF championships last year. She's ranked 95th now. She's climbing the rankings. She will be at the Indian Wells. She will be in the slams. Uh, Not having to qualify is going to be good for her. But the reality here is, look, she beat Bajorklin and the ITF in the New York uh, Bronx Open last year. Now, Bajorklin's going to face, after that huge upset over Alicia Parks, she's going to face Peyton Stearns. And Bajorklin is an underdog. She's a two to one underdog in that match. I'm I'm surprised. I thought it would be a pick'em or Bajorklin would be the favorite. Watch out for that match. That's gonna be entertaining. But Camilla Rakimova taking on Sinyakova, the world's ranked 45th. Sinyakova gets a lot of heat. Uh, she's very emotional. I think she's got the girliest misses. And look, I mean that with all due respect. When she is missing a forehand or a backhand, she falls a lot. And I don't know. It's entertaining. I think it's a little bit a little bit over the top. Uh, I think it's some theatrics there. But uh, in terms of her serving motion, a lot of experts, commentators, analysts, they really criticize her. They say she has the worst serve motion on tour. Me personally, I think at this stage of her career at 26 years old, you can't change it. It's going to take years to perfect a new serving motion. I mean, it's going to change her entire game. You know, a sport like boxing, you could bring in a new trainer and, you know, work on its style or a game plan. But tennis, I don't think you can change your serving motion. And a lot of experts have agreed with me, you know, with that retrospect, just her her motion, not her placement or anything like that. Her entire form and motion, you can't change that now. And look, she's ranked 45th on tour. We saw her take out Atlanta Rebikina and Polteros as a huge underdog last year, winning that championship. She came back down. So I think her game's pretty good. I think she's pretty solid. I think she's a, a solid top 40 player. I'm not sure if she'll ever be a consistent rank 30 or lower than that, but Listen, you clicked on the video because we got a little bit of drama here. And I've never seen this before in my life of all the tennis matches that I've watched. Comment below if you've seen something like this. Camilla Rakimova received a defective ball. So she brings it over to the chair umpire and she's like, there's something wrong with this ball. I can't play with this ball. So she gives the ball to the chair umpire, gets a new ball, and she would be up 40 love in her second service game. Sanyakova would come back, force a deuce, and actually have the advantage. But Rakimova, after getting rid of that defective ball, yeah, she spotted it. It, I guess it was like, it was like warped. It was like bent or something. So I've never seen that before watching all these matches. Um, comment if you've ever seen that and what match you've seen it at. But she would hold her in the second service game and she would break Sanyakova. So she's up early here uh, in the first set. We're going to see if Sanyakova can come back. Look, this is Monterey. There's a lot of elevation here, nearly 1,800 feet above sea level. And she's been playing a lot of tennis. So we're going to see who has the best condition here. This is good energy. Show some love. I'll see you guys soon.